So welcome, welcome, one and all, to Creating Resilience for Challenging Opportunities. I am Dorit. I'm Vanessa Marceau. I'm with Serenity Foods. Elegant. I'm with Alora Wellness. <laughs> Wonderful. So we're starting as of the 17th of June, and we invite you to join us, please, as we have free seminars here and on all of our social media live. The first one starts today, the 17th of June, where we'll be discussing creating financial resilience. Yes. During that panel, we have some illustrious speakers, such as Adam Cole. He is a former tax attorney and financial advisor. He's left that big corporate world behind to be a certified couples financial counselor and social justice advocate. So we're thrilled to have him. I am also on the panel from Allura Wellness, a vegan organic wellness center that I just recently opened. And we're also having the internationally renowned Will Tuttle, who's a writer, speaker, musician, poet, former monk, and he has an Amazon number one bestseller, The World Peace Diet. He lectures around the world. He's also the co-founder with Judy Carmen of the Circle of Compassion and the Worldwide Prayer Circle for Animals. So that is the illustrious panel we have to talk about how we can have and welcome in abundance while still being people of service who want to be activists and better the planet. So the following Wednesday on the 24th of June, creating resilience, emotional resilience. We're discussing mental health, emotional IQ. So the panelists for that are Lisa Levinson, who directs In Defense of Animals Sustainable Activism Campaign, offering emotional and spiritual resources for animal activists, and founded Vegan Spirituality, which explores veganism as a spiritual practice. We also have Sarah Taylor, who is a passionate animal activist and dedicated volunteer for the vegan and houseless communities. She is also a uh, has a master's degree in social work and works with the adult mental health population and is also passionate about the houseless population and volunteers as a tutor for houseless children. We have Gillian Megan Walters from Canada, who's a registered clinical counselor with a master's degree in counseling. She works with women, children, residential addiction treatment, psychiatric settings, elementary schools, private practice. She's speaks internationally, gives lectures on activism, dismantling white supremacy, which we're definitely going to be talking about, especially with all that's going on right now with social justice movements. So we're definitely including a huge part of that, um, trauma and feminism. Then we have Gwenna Hunter, who is the Community Outreach Coordinator for Vegan Outreach, which includes organizing events to empower local communities in following a vegan lifestyle. She also founded Vegans of LA, which brings people together for social functions and introduces pre-vegans to the joys of veganism. And she's just recently created a powerful new group, Vegans for Black Lives Matter, offering oh. support vegan and black communities, which has taken off as such a powerhouse force that it, she's, she's really bringing so many communities together and really having a huge impact in the social justice movement. So we're thrilled to have her and definitely she'll be talking about that. Um, and we also on this panel have, if I haven't left anyone out, we have Will Tuttle, whom I've already mentioned. And that's it for that panel. And following Wednesday, the 1st of July, the 1st of the month, again on Wednesday, 12 noon PST, which is 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are dealing with something which we most people do not deal with. This is critical. This is creating resilience for activists, self-care mm -hmm. for activists. This is a big topic. So we have quite a Absolutely. few people in this particular panel, and they include... Jane Elizabeth, who is an author, fitness trainer for health, wellness, and animal rights advocacy. She's the creator of Badass Rebel Runners, an all-vegan fitness mobile app, and facilitates her signature fitness and empowerment program to clients as well. As host of Badass Vegan Fitness on Jane Unchained News on Facebook, she were, shares inspirational stories from experts and top vegan athletes. We also have Dorit 
Rachel Parent, May Reed McAllister, and Dr. David Wong. So Marie, Marie McAllister, she is going to be bringing quite an amazing amount of wealth into this conversation. Um, her background is Irish, and she has a lot of full folklore and self-care of the Celtic tradition that she will be bringing us here. So please join us for that. Uh, Rachel started her activism as a teenager, really big time. So she has a lot of advice on this as well. And then the next one that we're going to be doing, we're going to be creating resilience, emotion, and movement. And some of the activists that will be joining us are John Pierre, who is the co-founder of Living with Harmony, a nonprofit organization that embodies a sincere effort to heal, inspire, and transform the lives of people, animals, and the planet through the education of plant-based living. A nutrition and fitness consultant, John assists a wide range of clientele, including hardcore athletes, Hollywood celebrities, rock stars, Fortune 500 executives, and people of all backgrounds and fitness levels. Real thrilled to have him. We also have Sarah Paul, Dorit, and Will Tuttle. Thank you. And so the following Wednesday, on the 15th of July, we are going to be having a panel on why activism matters. This is a big panel. Lots of really important people on this that you really need to listen to. Oh, yes. We have Jonathan Ohayan. He's the co-founder of Arceo Paris, which is a vegan, eco, sustainable backpack with a secure closure that's won awards for the best invention in Europe, won awards from the French ministry. He also created the fake movement, Fashion for Animal Kingdom and Environment, to promote designers who create vegan fashion ethically. He also regularly attends pig vigils and Cube of Truths and various other forms of activism. We also have Ellen Dent, who's the co-founder of the 501c3 nonprofit Animal Alliance Network Activist Group as part of the SAVE movement. She helps organize weekly pig vigils outside of a slaughterhouse near downtown Los Angeles. She hopes to help raise awareness in her community and around the world about the victims of animal agriculture. We also have Rachel Parent, Rio, and Lionel Friedberg on that one. Now, Lionel, some of you might know from South Africa, very well known in South Africa, and he actually is a multi-award, Emmy Award winning director, producer here in the United States. He worked and lived in Canada for a while and was really created some amazing um, documentaries there and his work is actually legendary. And some of you know him from National Geographic or from a lot of his films, I think over 45 films on PBS. And wow. We now have this take this takes us to Wednesday the 29th, which is sorry, Wednesday the 22nd, which is the politics of food. Really important the politics of food. And the panelists consist of Lisa Carlin. And Lisa Carlin is a health educator, nutrition consultant, and media journalist. She's the anchor and producer of Hey Doc, What's New in Plant-Based Medicine, a weekly show on Fridays at 10 a.m. Pacific time on Facebook's Jane Velez Mitchell page. She brings the latest plant-based news from distinguished physicians across the nation. Lisa is a certified Food for Life instructor with the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, or PCRM, which is headed up by uh, Dr. Neil Bernard. We also have uh, Diane Hatz. Of Change Food. Yes, Do you, would you like to talk about Diane? Diane will talk about herself when she okay. gets here. But, but we, we, good. I would like to add, um, we forgot the uh, one for uh, Why Activism Matters, so actually Jane Bellis Mitchell will be on that panel as well. Would you like to say something about her? Oh, yes. Jane Velez Mitchell is an award-winning journalist and best-selling New York Times author as well. She has founded a channel, Jane Unchained News, on Facebook. It also has a website and an Instagram that brings together correspondents from around the world who report on vegan issues around the globe. And she has a show on Amazon Prime 
a new day new chef and she has a roku channel is just a general powerhouse all over uh spreading the word of veganism uh around the globe so she just is a true powerhouse we also uh didn't mention or give a bio perhaps on sarah paul in Mo movement and motion on july 8th thank you, you want so to just so you all know we are also most likely be broadcasting on roku on jane's channel there on Roku as well. So that brings us yep. to the 20, Wednesday the 29th, which is big topic, GMOs, pesticides, fungicides, and herbicides. This is something which I'm asking you to really send us to as many people as possible. There are a lot of people who are, who are mentally ill, who are sick, exhausted all the time, and they do not understand why. A lot of them are vegans and they do not understand why. This is key, this is critical. So please make sure you get the word out that on this date, the 29th, we will be having a very highly sophisticated panel, starting with the head of GMO Free USA, Diana Reeves, with Rachel Parent, who is the queen of teenagers and the youth when it comes to GMOs and changing the food supply more environmentally friendly, and it works with Environment in Nature as well from Canada. Uh, we have quite a few other people on this one, but I think the most important are the ones that I just mentioned because they have worked so much tireless to change the way that our food has been hijacked and poisoned. It's critical. Yes. That's a great way of putting it. It has been hijacked. We don't even know what's in our food. And the last one is with Vanessa and I, and that <laughs> Wednesday, the following Wednesday, the 5th of August, when we will be producing Why Toxicity in the Home Matters. And we will be explaining to you all the different things that are toxic in your home, what you need to look at, what you need to change, and how you can change it. And we'll be launching our partnership working together in uh, creating non-toxic homes across the globe. That one is going to be the launch of this new business that we're bringing. And you're going to learn so much that you can do right away. It's not to overwhelm you, but our homes have a ton of toxins in them that we can very quickly, at least some of them, we can very quickly minimize that, especially during these times when everyone's concerned about infection, there are ways to do it safely. And so we welcome you to come to all these events and to invite as many people as you would like to invite because this is for you. This is all for you. This is why we're doing it on social media. Please spread it on your own web, on your own uh, Facebook Live, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Rizzle, on any social media site so that we can get to as much this information and this knowledge to as many people as possible because we feel like ignorance and the lack of critical information that's needed at the core of what we feel so much stress and tension and exhaustion and tired and disease in our society today and so this is our little addition to assist in bringing about the change which must happen so we will be having uh the panelists will be having uh, a moderator either vanessa and i will be the moderators we will also be having q a from you the audience we invite you to do what vanessa Yes, I was just going to say that when, when you said it right away, that this is our offering to you during these uh, stressful, uncertain times. But feel free to write in during the lives for any kind of questions. And we as the moderators will get to as many as we can. And if you have a question that we didn't get to, we'll try to address it afterwards or get it to our guests as well. So these presentations will not be on Zoom, even though this is on Zoom. It's going to be directly coming to you live on different social media sites, whether it's be Facebook or YouTube or Instagram. And if you have a site you would like to see us broadcast it, please let us know. You can send information. You can go on serenityspaces.org or on Vanessa's website, which is thelaurawellness.com. You can also write to us on Facebook on our Creating Resiliency Collaborative group. That's where it will be streamed as well, in addition to Dorit's and my pages. Vanessa Marceau page, Creating Resiliency Collaborative Group. Wonderful. We look forward to seeing you. We invite you to join us and to bring in as many people as you would like to see grow, evolve, 
and Farai. Until then, blessings, and we look forward to your presence. Bye.